Good morning, guys. Happy New Year. Today is the second day of the year, so January the second. I wanted to share with you the uh, fruits and blooms in my backyard um, for January, early January. I plan to make this monthly, so we'll see if I can stick to it. Um, I don't really have much time, but I'm going to try. We don't really have much of fruits and trees, so hopefully it'll be pretty quick. I don't like to be too lengthy, so let's try. Um, I'm standing in a uh, back porch of our home, and to my right is a fig tree that currently has two uh, fruit and then uh, this is a papaya tree papaya tree I, I bought this plant because I grew up like gazillion papaya tree from seed but they turned to be male most of them so I don't really know and this is I just started oh I can't remember the name um, I bought this thing from uh, Publix and uh, grow it from seed. This one is Chum Plum. Uh, we have this about a year. We've been harvesting those, currently fruiting like three sets of them. This one would be a star apple. I planted from seed, uh, like I said, it's my dad's favorite. And uh, this is a Grande Rio de Grande cherry. And next to it, oh, look, look what we have. It's a lemon. This is Meyer's lemon. We've been, uh, we've been picking from this. I can see over here, start fruiting too. We've been picking this fruit. This is a guava. It does not look really good. It does not look good. Um, and then this is the Rio de Grande. So I was standing over there when I was talking. It's pretty messy. And over here we have asparagus, but we have not harvested any. I just started for a year. I think at least it took you three years to. And this is a kale. We love kale. This is overbearing. I think this one is a, a, a Everglades tomatoes. I'm hoping and praying. I bought the seeds, um, but I was planting two kind of seeds, so I'm not able to... I'm going to have to pick this. Yeah. That way it has some... You have to cut this thing. Then over here we have a papaya tree. But like I said, they are male most of them, I think. Hopefully they're not. Hopefully I'm wrong. I'm not so knowledgeable about that. Uh, some peppers. Oh, there are some yuccas on the side as well as pineapples. We bought those pineapple heads, pineapples from Papyrus and just planted the heads. On the island, we have some mangoes. This mango is a rootstock mango. My The, uh, the crafted mango was dead, so, but it's sort of bloom. Amazing. Some jackfruit trees that are still planted in. Uh, containers. And over here we have mango. This is clan. They are blooming. So this mango is blooming. Um, it has been in containers for all his life since we have them. Uh, that is a 15 gallon container. So next to it is actually a star fruit tree that continuously do bloom but never fruit. Anyway, moving on. In here we have. Um, Nasturtium, Nastur, Nasturtium, whatever I can't remember. And this blooms. Sorry about this. And Pamelo Gerardo, it's blooming like crazy. It's not really healthy, but it's blooming. So we'll see. I just gave some uh, food the other day, and it looks really, really like taking off. So good. I'm, I'm so grateful for it. You just have to be careful here, in a. Florida for uh, uh, there are certain uh, bugs that eating them. So this is um, Thai uh, jujube. Uh, when we bought it, we just got this a few months back. When we bought it, there were plenty of blooms and uh, young, uh, tender fruit, but it's only one that survived so far. 
Um, this is uh, Mercat, Mandarin Mercat, looking pretty sad. This is Karakara, uh, I believe, Nivel, Red Nivel. Uh, red Nivel, it was Red Nivel. Yeah, it's, I think it started to bloom, so you see. And Satsuma, we just harvested, we just finished harvesting them. Kale, this kale is pretty awesome. <laughs> it's on the container. And this was supposedly her twin, but it's dead half, but it's close back. This one is Satsuma, which is we had just harvested a month ago. It's pretty happy with the result. And this is the vegetable area. Uh, we do, uh, I built this bit, uh, wrist pads and all by myself. And all by myself, uh, color green. I love this. I don't really um, enjoy the smell. I just like the smell, but you can cook pretty good, healthy food with that. Kale. And this one supposedly sprout, I think, but it does not look, look really good. Kale. I need to hunt those, whoever that is eating my kale uh, leaves. <clears throat> then. Oh, this is strawberry. Strawberry is actually blooming right now. I picked one yesterday, but look, there are some future strawberries there hidden, which I'm glad because there are so many squirrels running here. And this one is star fruit. I uh, air uh, layer uh, using a uh, air layer propagation. Um, but look, it fruits. The mama tree does not fruit at all, which is really odd over here in container is wax apple has never been fruiting before it's never been bloom more kale because we love kale we really really love kale then more strawberries and more kales now in front of us this is what i this is the the talk of the town in this household this is banana tree. It's my sour banana tree. I found it in December the 13th. They start to bloom. So the December the 13th was over there. Just like started over there. And this is January the 2nd. Look, they already grow bananas inside. It's amazing. They're really, really fast. They love uh, compost. So all I do is just putting uh, all kitchen scraps, the vegetables, obviously, over there. And no more than that and just water it regularly and this one we have avocado that it looks like it start to either grow buds or fruits we just finished harvesting these two it is in a 25 gallon container uh it's super hot on this side uh, we have this blackberry that has not fruit on us but it looks like it has to see so i don't know what to do you guys know what to do, let me know. Please. Crepes are trying out. On the left is guava. It looks pretty sad. I planted some uh, sprout in there. And then more overbearing. I think it's Everglades tomatoes. I need to pull it that way. There you go. Sorry. I hope. Yeah, go inside there. Go inside the cage. Then this is Cosmos. I love these veggies. It's Barbados cherry, and this is my favorite. Look at that. I love. Did, did you guys see it? I just got this from the drop from the bottom. The drop. So, what it is is uh, uh, crown cherries. They grow like crazy. I love them so very much. Look, I, I see that one. That is, you see it? Wait, hold on. It looks like. <laughs> See, that's what you do. You try to, you shake the tree. If you shake them, there, I can hear it. Oh, there it is. Ground cherry, I love them. What it is, is. Let me see if I can open one for you. Yep. Yep, okay, so what it is, is. This is what you need. See, I need to help with my the other hand. Look at that. 
this is how it looks so good this is so nutritious for you it's really high in vitamin c so i'm gonna try this for you so i'll be the guinea pig no i have eaten this for so many every day i go after i come back from work i got here and eat some mm. yummy mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. these are blueberries rose Excuse me, I try to talk to you and eating it at the same time. Don't do that. This is a blackberry. I mean, no, raspberry, actually. And this one is... <clears throat> Surinam cherry. It should be fruiting by now, but it's not. I don't know what happened. I think it likes a fruit. But that resume our tour. Oh, look. Some blueberries are blooming, too. You see, they're blooming. They're trying to. Oh, that's my, my neighbor's dog. Don Don. Hey, Don Don. Um, peppers. Okay. I think I'm going to need to pick these peppers. All right, guys. Um, and that resume our uh, tour in what blooming and what fruiting in my backyard to, uh, January. And Happy New Year again. Hopefully next year will be uh, a wonderful year for you guys. Healthy, wealthy, and happy. Have an amazing, amazing year. Bye.